Welcome, guys. Welcome, welcome. You are listening to Ricky and Vicky's English Chatterbox, who are hosting from different parts of our beautiful planet, Philippines and Russia. Ricky, a native speaker, and an English enthusiast, Vicky, are going to dispel your doubts about English. Make yourself comfortable. We're about to launch a rocket. Okay, so today we will be talking about what, Vicky? Word pairs in English, part two. We hope that you studied our last episode, so today we'll give you more pairs. Are you ready? Let's jump into them. Season the meat with. It's easy because we say the same: salt and pepper, of course. Of course, yeah, salt and pepper, the same, same in your language. What about our、uh, listeners from other countries、uh, other than Russia? Let's see from the comments below. Yes, of course, guys. Just leave your comments. Okay, our next sentence is. I usually have to wash the greasy pots and pans. Yes, pots and pans. But it's still interesting. <laughs>、uh, how can you explain? With that, I have no explanation <laughs> whatsoever. This is that's just a. Certain ring to it, pots and pans. I have the, my own explanation. This is how I see. Let's hear it. If you do not have a pan, it's not a problem. You can cook anything you want in a pot. <laughs> I see. Okay. Why not? Yes, because pan. Ah,、uh, you cannot、uh, make soup in a pan. No, but in a pot you can. Yeah. You can、Virtually、fry、everything. something. You、yeah. can、uh... steam. <laughs> yes, that's quite a, <laughs> very nice logic. <laughs> But for me, it just has a certain ring to it. Possibly,、yeah, of course, <laughs> of course. You even you even do not think about that. What should it be? Just pots and pans, and that's it. <laughs> It's getting more difficult. Let's look at our next sentence. Life has its, of course, ups and downs, and、uh, there is a lot of logic in it. Because we want to be going places, we want to be successful. That's why we want to have more ups than downs. Yeah, usually, normally, some, when something goes up, it must come down, and go go up again, and then <laughs> come down again. Next, put on your. This is a controversial one. I want to hear your opinion about that. I know the answer: shoes and socks. I have no explanation for this. Yeah, it's quite interesting. <laughs> I have my own. Let's hear it. If you want to go outside, you need to have shoes. If you do not have shoes, but you have just socks, you cannot go outside just wearing <laughs> socks. It's impossible, right? People will think that you're crazy. That's why if you do not have socks but you have shoes, you're okay. <laughs> I see, but that's just how it goes, you know. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Next one. Let's wait and see what happens next. Because usually we need to wait and after that to see the result of something, right? Okay. Right. It's not that complicated. Um. And it's a common expression as well. And the last one for today. You reach your final destination in two minutes. Give or take. Give or take. Yes, that's correct.、Uh, what does that mean? Give or take. Give or take. It means、uh, plus or minus. Or also, you can replace it with、that's、approximately、yeah. about. Just around that area. So、uh, you can reach your final destination in 17 minutes or in 13 minutes. And again, I want to point out that this phrase I've heard from one movie, and I even remember the name of the movie. It is the commuter train. And uh, yeah, uh, guys, I want to say that movies are the best source. Very well. Again, my name is Ricky, and my name is Vicky, and this is your English English Chatterbox. Chatterbox. Bye, bye, guys. See you. Bye, bye. Bye, bye.